All right, so before we get started building our full stack application here, I wanna talk about the main pieces of a full stack application, since this will kind of help you get a better idea of how everything we're about to do fits together and what the responsibilities of each piece are. So as you may or may not already know, a full stack application generally consists of two main pieces. On one side here, we have the front end. This is usually the code that runs in the user's browser. So I'll write front end there. And we have the back end over here, which consists of essentially the rest of the code, right? All of the code that's not running in the user's browser, that's running on servers, uh, consists of the database, etc. So the front end, as I've said, is the code that runs in the user's browser. So this is generally the React code, right? In a full stack React application, this is all of the front end React code that we write, everything that has to do with, you know, displaying data to the user, uh, re-rendering things in the browser, working with DOM elements, etc., is on the front end. The back end, on the other hand, is a little bit more involved. It usually consists of a web server, which I'm gonna draw as this box here. And it also usually consists of a database, which is usually drawn like this. This is generally the symbol you'll see for, for that. And if you wanna think about these two pieces in this way, the web server is kinda of like the secretary, if you will, of the backend. It's what handles all of the requests coming in from all of our users uh, on the front end, okay? so. This is usually what actually handles those requests and you know takes care of loading data from the database, et cetera. Okay, so the database, on the other hand, is considered to be kind of the hippocampus of the backend, if you will. It's the place where all of our applications' persistent data is stored. Okay, so those are the basic pieces of the front and back end. In the case of a full stack React application or a full stack MERN application, the technologies we're gonna be using here are going to be React on the front end. Okay, so that is the R here. And for the web server, we're gonna be using a framework called Express, which is the E in MERN. So we'll say Express. For the database, we're gonna be using MongoDB, which is the M. MongoDB, there we go. And Node.js is the runtime that our web server runs inside of. So Node.js, if you're not familiar with it already, essentially what it does is it allows us to run JavaScript code outside the browser. It's a server-side runtime for JavaScript. So this is where Node.js comes in right here. And as you might have expected, that is the N in MERN. So together, these four technologies make up the MERN stack, as we've seen. And one of the really nice things about the MERN stack is that all of these technologies use JavaScript. So React uses JavaScript. Express, written in JavaScript, since it's in Node.js, right? Which is, as I said, a JavaScript runtime for the server side. And MongoDB is a non-relational database that is very good at storing JavaScript objects, right? We don't need to convert them into rows and columns in order to store them in MongoDB. So essentially, this MERN stack, the reason that you've probably heard a lot about it in the past is because it allows developers to know a single language, and that is JavaScript. Okay, see, it used to be that you had to know several different languages just to get a full stack application working, right? You'd have to know something like PHP to write a server. You'd have to know SQL, right? Some kind of dialect of SQL in order to work with the database. And then of course, you'd also have to know JavaScript for the front end. So this is very useful for JavaScript developers. And as you're gonna see while we build out our app, really all you need to know to get started with this is JavaScript. So anyway, that's the basic setup of a full stack MERN application. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.